guys, my name is Eric Hercules. I'm a fine art and commercial photographer with a niche in levitation on Photoshop photography. Uh, I've been doing this for the last eight years and uh, I've worked with pretty cool people and pretty cool clients. Today, we're gonna be talking about five tips to maximize your storytelling and create unique compositions. Tip number one, everything in your image has to be purposeful. I know that a lot of people go into photography and just like, just take as many pictures as you want, but ultimately you have to decide in order for you to maximize your storytelling, make sure that every single line, shape, uh, color, texture, they all create an element of storytelling to maximize a particular subject or the particular story you want to tell. Ultimately creating something that is cohesively uh, united and uh, that will ultimately help you, you know, create something that is very specific in its uh, delivery of emotion. Tip number two, unless you're shooting a, a person uh, when you shoot architecture photography, try to use as high of aperture as possible because you want every single texture to be reflected in your image. So then like that, you don't have any bokeh that's blurring out uh, any, any particular elements of your photo. That will maximize the storytelling and really help punch those colors and lines and textures right across the image. Tip number three. This might sound a little holistic and crazy, but learn how to look at every single angle like you've never seen an angle in your life before. And what I mean by that is be very open-minded to the elements around you. Sometimes you think that, oh, I've, I've seen that building every time I walk down the street, it's no, it's no longer interesting to me. Well, look at it from a different way. Look at it like you're a two-year-old just coming into New York. You've never been to New York before and you see this one building. Try to find different storytellings because everything, everything in life has a particular element that makes it special. So take a look into that and you'll find something cool in each photograph. Tip number four, play with your angles. Don't abide by the rules. One thing when I started photography was in commercial photography, everything needs to be very parallel and straight, but I discovered that once you understand that enough, you get to actually bend reality to your liking. So when you see buildings or when you see constructions or when you see shapes and forms, play around with your camera. Try to tell different stories because there's unlimited stories to be told. So if you really find yourself just playing around, it will give you more elements to work with and ultimately redefine your image into something that is particularly yours. Tip number five, memorize and master your lens and your camera. When I first began, I began with a 24 millimeter lens and I used it until it's death, literally. Uh, and so I learned everything that it worked, everything that is good for that lens and everything that just doesn't work with that lens. Ultimately, then buying the 50 millimeter, then buying the 85 millimeter and eventually going to the 70 to 200. You would do the same. What I recommend is begin with whatever lens you have. I always recommend for people to start with also a 50 millimeter. There's like very cheap uh, 50 millimeters, 1.8 that you can look into uh, and then use it all the time, everywhere. Because that will teach you how extensive uh, you can pull, that will teach you how to use the lens extensively and also what it would work and be perfect for and what it is, you know, it's not gonna really redefine an image or change uh, your artistry. So we, yeah, really, really have fun with your gear and hopefully that, that pushes you to the next level. Thank you, VNH, so much for having me. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you have any questions whatsoever, leave them in the comments below. Uh, you can find me at Eric Hercules or We Levitate. See you soon.